Okay, today we're going to talk division and alternate bases, and I'm going to use the first division problem on your worksheet, 5, 6, 3, 2, base 8, divided by 3, base 8. I'm going to use the tried and true method of long division, which you first learned back in elementary school when you were using base 10 division. But one of the things that can aid us in our division and alternate bases is a table of the multiples of 3. For instance, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. Now, be careful here. How do you write 9 in base 8? It's 1, 1, because it's 1, 8, remainder 1. And then we have 3 times 4 is 12, which is written 1, 4. 3 times 5 is 15, which is 1, 7. 3 times 6 is 18, which is 2, 2, because it takes 2 eights and 2 more to get to 18. And 3 times 7 is 21, which is written 2, 5. And we can stop there because these are the only numerals in base 8. Well, 0, but I just didn't bother writing 0 in our chart. And so now we can begin the actual division. 3 goes into 5 once, no matter what base you're in. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract and bring down. And here's where you have to be extra careful. You are in base 8, so this is not 26. This is 2, 6, and whatever that represents in base 10. So when you say, how many times does 3 go into 2, 6? This is where we're going to use our chart. I know that 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 4 is 1, 4, and 3 times 6 is 2, 2. So how many times will 3 go into 2, 6? I'm looking for the largest thing in this list that's still smaller than 2, 6. And 2, 5 fits that bill. So the answer is 7. 3 goes into 2, 6 7 times. Now we multiply. 7 times 3 is 2, 5 through the use of our chart. Subtract, we get 1 and bring down the 3. How many times does 3 go into 1, 3? Look over here at my chart. 1, 4 is bigger than 1, 3, so 1, 1 is the largest thing that's still smaller than 1, 3, so 3 goes into that 3 times. 3 times 3 is 1, 1 from our chart again. Subtract, bring down. How many times does 3 go into 2, 2? Oh, exactly 6 times. 6 times 3 is 2, 2. Subtract, we get 0, so we have no remainder. And our answer is 1736 base 8. Don't forget your subscript. So division is by far the most difficult of the operations to do in alternate bases. You truly have to have mastered addition, subtraction, and multiplication in order to be able to do division because it incorporates all three of those. The next problem we're going to look at is problem 3 off the worksheet because it's still a single digit divisor and I'm going to go ahead and develop the table of multiples for the divisor which is 6 um, and not actually record that because that would be a lot of video to watch so you can verify my table on your own if you so desire. So let's get to problem 3. The idea here is to continue making a chart of what 6 times different numbers is equal to in base 14. You can see I uh, continued working all this out. You probably need a calculator to do all this, and so this takes quite a bit of time, and I want to fast forward through all that. Um, but for instance, when you're down here on this line, 6 times 7, that's 42. If you want to write that in base 14, it's exactly 3 14s with 0 left over, so it's equal to 3 0. But now let's try to actually do the division. Um, so 6 goes into 9 once. 1 times 6 is 6. We subtract and get 3. Bring down our A. So you're trying to figure out how many times does 6 go into 3A. So what I want to do is go over to my list here and go down until I get the largest thing that's still smaller than 3A. 3, 0 is smaller, 3, 6 is smaller, but 3, C, because C is bigger than A, 3, C is bigger than 3, A. So this is the largest thing, um, largest multiple of 6 that is still smaller than 3, A, so the answer is 8. 6 goes into 3, A 8 times. 
What is 8 times 6? Well, we already did that over here. It's 3, 6. So subtract, bring down. Um, this is really 10, so 10 minus 6 is 4. And so now we've got 4C. And what's the largest thing that's still smaller than 4C? So we go down our list. I get to 4, 4, 4A. Let me scroll this up. 4, 4, 4A, 5, 2. 5, 2 is bigger. 4A is still smaller than 4C. So the answer is B. And then B times 6, what's that equal to? If you made your chart, we already know it's equal to 4A. We're going to subtract and bring down. C minus A is 2 because that's 12 minus 10. Back to our chart, how many times does 6 go into 2, 2? Well, it apparently goes exactly 5 times. So we put our 5 there. 5 times 6 is 2, 2. Subtract, we get 0. Bring down our 3. How many times does 6 go into 3? It doesn't. So we put a 0. 0 times 6 is 0. Subtract, and we get 3. And there's nothing left to bring down, so that's our remainder. So 9AC23 base 14 divided by 6 base 14 is 18B50 base 14 remainder 3 base 14.